Hello, my name is Lana Hanekamp. This is Engine News with the latest updates from the Angular community in 100 seconds every week. TarnStack is a suite of libraries and well known in React. TarnGiri, probably the most popular one, is now available in Angular as an experimental mode. TarnGiri manages the data fetching part but also caching, synchronization, and other things. Daniel Gleisner hosted a Twitter space where you could get a first impression. The discussion centered very quickly around the question if TarnGiri is a state management library or something else. Dominik Dorfmeister, co-maintainer of TarnGiri, came up with the following answer. And especially state that comes from the server has very different needs from state that basically lives in the browser. People all often ask me, can I manage my local state with React Query? And I always say, no, it's like this is very inefficient if you do that. Query was built to manage asynchronous state. Alex Ricapo, Angular Framework Lead, was guest at Angular Nation. A must-watch episode, especially the discussion after his talk. Alex discouraged the use of setters for input properties. If you're like pushing to a subject from your input setters and you have like three or four inputs, the order in which those events happen depends kind of arbitrarily on the order in which Angular chooses to update the inputs in a template, which is not guaranteed. And so ng on changes is really the safe place that you have to react to inputs changing. In terms of performance, people overestimate the impact of running the, the change detection refresh in templates and underestimate the impact of the amount of bookkeeping that's required. Whenever I, I like profile Angular applications, it's almost never that change detection is doing too much work. That's it. Wishing you a nice week and see you in the next episode. Goodbye.